the country in terms of water balance the country is fine i know this question always come are we safe what is the water security in the country i am saying the country in terms of water is well balanced but there is a localized deficit especially coming from Gauteng province as well as Eteguini municipality. Reasons being that the growing population in the two areas, Gauteng province and Eteguini, the growing population, the growing um, economy, the non-revenue water, the decay infrastructure, it also play into the crisis where these areas might not have water. Hence, we have applied certain uh, measures to ensure that there is no water that is cut altogether. Should we expect day zero in Gauteng? No. As I said that uh, if Gauteng attend, all municipalities attend to loss of water, then the, 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 the issue of Gauteng in terms of uh, the challenge of water will be resolved. And I said, since we met with them, remember we implemented uh, in September 18, uh, to, we have put Gauteng on level one. And um, by 18 of October, they, at the time, they seemed not to have uh, uh, known that they are on level one. They were doing things normal. We had to meet with them to say, now we can go to level two if you don't address what we said you must address on level one. With the a program that is led by the Premier and the MEC, they are attending to those. Hence, on, uh, on, on Saturday newsroom uh, hours, with newsroom on Saturday, we were at, um, at Brixton uh, a Water Treatment Plant um, and the Reservoir, where uh, Johannesburg is saying we have to build it more because we want to respond uh, to these uh, 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 illegal connections by bringing water reservoirs closer. The area of Pristine, for instance, it is in, in the upper lying area, and therefore they don't get water. And uh, they will have uh, stable water once that um, uh, reservoir has been uh, com completed, and they are fast tracking that um, uh, reservoir. So we are not, when we went to day zero in Western Cape, city of Cape Town, in particular in 2008, it was because there was drought. We had to go to day zero. In Gauteng, there is no drought yet. We have water, but the, the challenge of water is a water management uh, 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 challenges where municipalities are not managing their water uh, in an expected um, uh, way. For the past month, we have been uh, in a desert with calls when uh, we restricted water to Gauteng. And I've been asked, about my comment when I said, this is a self-inflicted pain. Yes, I repeat. It is a self-inflicted pain by municipalities of Gauteng because we warned the municipalities of Gauteng uh, as early as uh, June uh, to say, please take care of your, your, your water uh, 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 infrastructure because you are losing a lot of water. It is important to state that there is no drought in Gauteng. However, the province is experiencing water security challenges, which include credit management issues, water, loose, uh, water losses, aging infrastructure, illegal connections, illegal mining, and servitude encroachment. The Ministry of Gauteng and the provincial government have intervened to address the, the challenges by calling on all municipalities in Gauteng to impose water restrictions. Hence, Gauteng is on water restriction level one. Upgrading of the infrastructure by all municipalities, strict credit management system, ensure proactive governance, and exploring alternative water sources around Gauteng. And I must confirm here uh, to you media houses present that the, the Premier of Gauteng, the MEC, and all municipalities were meeting on a weekly basis to ensure that uh, we adhere to all the, the water restrictions, but also municipalities are responding very positive in terms of closing the leaks and disconnecting the illegal connections and enforcing the bylaws.
During these 100 days, we have received more than 250 complaints on a daily basis from communities across the country regarding water security issues. Most of the complaints are about water-related functions of municipalities, such as pipe bursts, leakages, water tankering, disruptions in supply of water, shortage of boreholes, water diversions by farmers, and water pollution. The ministry and department have promptly responded to such complaints using different approaches such as in involving the municipalities concerned and performing oversight functions which include physical visit and reference to the relevant authorities. Having said a lot about housing, we also held an uh, of in Bizo with all um, uh, mayors and uh, municipal managers and CFOs of Houting. We are focusing on, on Houting because of the, the Houting is a is a is a is a is a is a, is a mega uh, um, uh, province that uh, has economic uh, uh, which is an economic hub of the country. And there is no way that we can ignore Houting. Uh, the administration of, of of government is here, so we had to make to give. Focus to Gauteng. The population is growing day by day in Gauteng. So hence, uh, we made it, it a point that an agreement was then reached on, on the causes of the water supply, which I've already alluded to. We further uh, uh, created a platform for water secure Gauteng, which is the theme uh, that is driven by the premier of uh, Gauteng, Premier Banyaza, of which we are very thankful to have such um, uh, 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 cooperation from them. The platform is currently raising funds which will be used for a major public communication and awareness campaign in the province regarding the need to use water sparingly.